Many people with COVID-19 suffer alone at home, nobody to take care of them. And that can be dangerous if their condition quickly worsens. So doctors are turning to new remote devices to keep tabs on their patients. It starts with telemedicine, but that's not all. CBS 2's Tom Waite has more from Tarzana. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, doctors are trying to protect those who are alone and those who may be forgotten. Many of my patients who are elderly who are in this high vulnerable target uh, in the crosshairs of COVID are living alone. Dr. Michael Hurt and his practice Center for Integrative Medicine out of Tarzana is utilizing technology and telemedicine to make sure his patients are getting the treatment they need. Their family's not visiting them. Uh, they may be checking in through FaceTime and other, you know, tele, tele apps. One issue facing doctors and hospitals during this pandemic, a flood of patients. Many go home if they are well enough. The problem is those who live alone may not get help if their condition deteriorates rapidly. It's unpredictable. And so some patients will go home and they'll stay well. Their lungs will get improved. Others may deteriorate. Telemedicine is just one way doctors are trying to help. This man, Leonardo Frazier, a COVID-19 patient in Ohio, says this device attached to his wrist and his finger likely saved his life. It kept track of Frazier's oxygen, heart and blood and transferred the information to his cell phone. When he took a turn for the worst, the device sent out an alert. It told me I needed to be in the E. I needed to come down to the ER. Frazier is part of a pilot program in Ohio, and while many other COVID patients don't have access to this technology, doctors here are still using tech as much as they can. For most doctors, 90% of our decision making is before we even touch you, just listening to your story. As medical experts and doctors try to figure out exactly how long the coronavirus has been here in the Southland, that may make it very difficult to ever figure out how many people the COVID-19 virus has killed. I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.